having a look at this, you can see quite clearly we've got a dump truck in the middle and we've got this flow domain that's been created for us. I'm actually going to delete the flow domain as well as the actual simulation and I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually make my domain for me. Straight away, I've got the, the simulation that started. Again, I want to change my boundary conditions if I wanted to as well. And I can quickly see the flow develop. This is an external arrow, so I can see the vortices coming off the, the chassis and also the, the truck as well. Again, from before, I can take my, my plane. I can move it around if I wanted to. Right? But I've got a couple of other post-processing features I want to have a look at. At the moment, I'm just looking at the surface. I actually want to show off the composite view, however. So this shows me almost a smoke view of what's happening. I can bring the center up and focus on areas of high velocity. If I wanted to, I can also bring it down and focus on areas of low velocity. Um, not just looking at this, I can also have a look at, say, the inverse surface, um, or even things like ISO surfaces as well. I've been looking at uh, velocity for a little bit of time, but I can also switch this over to pressure. I can have a look at, say, inverse surface of pressure, and also things like vorticity. So in this particular case, I can go contours and have a look at where vortexes are shedding, and I can do some things to change them later on if I wanted to. Now I'm going to bring this back to my velocity and have a look at the uh, the surface. And one of the things I'd like to do is actually design a deflector around the chassis over here. So I'm going to select this plane, go into sketching mode, and I'm going to sketch out a deflector following the uh, the flow. Again, my 2D sketch turns into a 3D um, to a 2D surface, and I can extrude that into a 3D. Um, I can extrude that sorry into a 3D object. As soon as I've done that and I've brought it into existence, the flow domain actually updates itself, the geometry updates itself, and I can now clearly see how the flow changes due to my deflector. So what I can now do is uh, is make a couple of changes, um, but before I do that, I'd like to have a look at what the drag force is. So in the moment, I'm having a look at the X force. If you have a look at the bottom left, um, the X direction is actually parallel to what I'm looking for, and I'm looking for forces on all of these surfaces. And you can see I've got a, a graph on the right, so you can clearly see that the flow is transient. And what I also like to do is, is take a probe of all these faces as well. So I can have a look at the instantaneous velocity. Instantaneous force, sorry. Now you can see on this graph, you know, it's changing up quite a bit. So we've got vortices that are shedding. That's actually changing the amount of drag that's created. But what I can do is I can actually take a, an average over amount of time if I wanted to. And I can see what the minimum, what the maximum, and what the mean forces are. Or I can have a look at what the instantaneous force is. Now I want to make a couple of changes. I'm just going to get rid of my contour over here, and I like to fill this in as if there was a if there was a some sort of cover that was clean uh, that was closing this up. So I'm going to get rid of these fillets and pull this surface up to the up to the back up to the top here. So it's again, if I was to look back at my cross-sectional view, I can clearly see that the flow has been updated. If I take a cross-section through there, there's no flow inside the truck. You can see on the right hand side that my flow volume is actually um, updated and I've got my graph that's been updating with me. And if I wanted to, I can take an, an average across that as well. Now, if I wanted to go back, all I had to do is just use Control Z. So again, similar to keyboard shortcuts. And I can see that we've got this um, this truck that's uh, it's now been emptied out. And if I wanted to, I can say, get rid of the back altogether. And I can see what happens when I've got the uh, the back that's been opened to me. All right. So hopefully what I've been able to show you is the uh, is the power of Discovery Live and the power of instantaneous design. Um, this gives you a lot of engineering insight early on in your whole design cycle. Um, what I've shown you is four different cases spread over three different physics. We've made multiple design changes in each one of these cases and we've solved real world problems. I hope you guys uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the demo and if you have any more questions, please let us know.